hello and welcome to another video today it's kind of a vloggy one because we are going on a around 300 kilometers road trip for that i need around 60 percent and fortunately we've got them but i wanted to know if i can go um at, at a bit uh, more power and more speed and for that I need a little bit more charge because last time I drove a bit more uh, calm a bit more easy to the pedal and the consumption was actually really good now let's see uh, sorry for the muddy screen this is a 22 kilowatt uh, Eno Home Charlie 3. This is a 32 amp charger and it can push up 20.5 kilowatt. And if we um, tap here, it's around 1.4 kilometer. But uh, this is uh, what we are interested in more. And uh, we are going to stay here for as much as possible. I think half an hour i assume this is uh, the uh, work charging station and um, it's free for me at least let's see the battery temperature because this is a pretty important factor in uh, today's standards because here is february uh, a beautiful sunday but it's 8.5 degrees and uh, fortunately this car stayed last night in a heated garage and now it's at 13 degrees celsius so we are expecting pretty good consumption levels let's see in the charge department okay and um, if we scroll to trip uh, sorry since total trip so the average consumption uh, since I bought the car, uh, you can see here 18,073 kilometers, and here is the same uh, value. It's a 24.6 kilowatt hour per hundred kilometers, and that will sound like a big consumption, but uh, you, I have to mention that um, I use this car on a daily basis, and when I use it in the city, I tend to accelerate more. Uh, since it's a very new car, I, I love the uh, push that it has. The indicated range is 284 kilometers, but um, as we will see, it will very much depend on the driving style. I forgot to mention that if you want to see the 20 kilowatt charging, you have to option the car with the onboard charger the onboard 22 kilowatt charger because this car will come as standard with 11 kilowatts. After an hour or so, I've charged up to 85% and uh, we have an estimated range of 360 kilometers. So we are now. I actually use the uh, navigation system in the uh, PCM because it's rather good and uh, it shows me the um percent the the percentage that i will arrive with which is very accurate is around uh, one percent error which is amazing by uh, a navigation point of view
uh, half of the journey is done. Uh, we are now uh, at 57 percent, uh, 58 percent actually remaining, and we started with 51 percent. So let's see with how much we are going to arrive at home. I suspect we will use. Let's see the um, the consumption. It's 20 kilowatt for every 100 kilometers. Although the um, average speed isn't that high because uh, obviously I wasn't in a big rush. We have our uh, climate control, uh, the AC on eco mode because I don't really need that. And uh, we are now heading home. So in the PCM, I chose the, I've chosen the um, my destination, which has an estimate arrival of 24%. So the PCM tells us that it's better to go on another route, but um, as you will see in a few moments, it will uh, recalculate the route with the basically the same the same distance, but just another road. One time I'm on this road and it's busy. Basically my luck. highway. In the meantime, I tried to film some point of views while I was driving on some 50 roads, but I wasn't able to do that because the traffic was atrocious. The uh, road conditions were not ready for the job. But today we are on freeway, on highway as some will call. I want to remind you that the speed isn't the uh, main uh, range factor. The main range factor is the acceleration that you put into the pedal. That's the one that's consuming you all this power. And still we have a 22% remaining uh, battery when we come home. So for me, an electric car is simply a need, not a want. It's amazing to be at the wheel of something that it drives like a sports car and uh, behaves like a normal car you know, when it comes into the range department. So I've arrived home. This is my trip. 250 kilometers with a consumption of 21 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers and you saw that the traffic was uh, and the, the road con consistency was uh, pretty much different we went from twisty roads to highway speed and uh, I think this is the most normal thing to do this is not a range test it was just a trip showing you the percentage I left and the, percent, the percentage I started and what is the percentage now after uh, 252 kilometers. Um, let me show you some of the outside of the car. This is how it looks after a certain amount of kilometers. It really needs a wash, which I will do tomorrow, of course. It looks amazing and I love the car and I love how it rides, I love how it behaves in certain speeds. Right now the car has 2125 kilometers from new, of course. Um, seats are amazing, I don't know what to tell you. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a like and uh, if you want more friends, 
to find out how is the electric uh, experience be sure to share with your friends and ciao for now